variable resistor part. This is here. I've got a smallish screwdriver, negative on one side. Now I'm just getting I'm getting used to this new multimeter now anyway. So I'm not brilliant with it, but put it on the, the bottom right hand leg to get your read in. 426, which is okay, that's what it's naturally supposed to be on here. Now I'm gonna fast forward on his video to how he ends up. Now it was 416, which is supposed to be a point, but this is me not fiddling right on the um on the actual multimeter. I don't fully get it, I don't fully understand it, yada yada yada. I'll get used to it eventually. Most times I use multimeters was basically just to do voltage. So um bear with. So the video now put it in, it's got it as a one one point six, which will be A lot lower than that. So it's upwards. So 160. Oh, that's one really high. That's the wrong way. Where is it? Yeah, the bottom leg. 239. The depression, I've just done this wrong. Six seven one. I want go into the video one sixty. I give this one day, and I will. Really over. So while I'm faffing. That is so close. I'm not happy with that. That's a tiny bit of so one five three. Now so you should be checking this. Right one with a copied disc and I haven't. See how delicate this is? I'm not even moving this hardly. At least I didn't think I was. See what I actually need is three hands. And this is too small to put a probe on there, leave it on there and then try and do something else. So give me a second, let me try and get this the right setting and then yeah figure out what I'm doing I think. Right so basically I got this probe in my mouth, this probe holding there and then my left hand trying to get the screwdriver on there at the same time and I've got up with a 159 which is as near as damn it as I'm going to get to what I need which is actually spot on just about for what the video states. So I'm going to leave that as it is and I'm happy with that. If ever I need to go around and faff with this in the future, yes, I can quite easily. Well, pfft, easy enough. For the present, with the lack of discs, yes, fine, this is good enough for me. So what I'm gonna do now is put all this back together, put it all back in the, um, yep, yeah, the GameCube back together, so it'll all be done and sorted, and then I can start with that mod. I'll get the Swiss on there and then I need to rig up the TV and sort out other bits and bats with it. So again, another big pause here for me, well for you guys, but you just straight straightforward so I'm going to get some work done. I'm not recording it, you don't need to see it, it's fine, it's just taking the GameCube to pieces. It's fine, everybody's seen that I'm sure. So give me a few minutes and I'll get this sorted out for you. Now we're at this stage now, I haven't even put the probes away for that, but they might, um, of putting it back together again. Yes, there's the four screws there with the little prongs going up to connect for the... I don't know what they connect onto, to be honest. Did that? Oh yeah, so it's the earthing on there. Okay, fine. So maybe pull it forward a little bit, just to make sure you're going to get a connection on it. Remember, there's, there's five screws on that side, five on there, four on the back. You can't get to that one 
well, you can. When you put these back together, you can get to all of them, except don't do these two here because that holds the fan, the, the power button, and this little board in place. So they need to be out before. So everything else goes in beforehand. When you're dismantling it, they can come out. The three here can come out. Those two can come out, revealing the three under here and the one there. Simple. <laughs> yeah, so put them out back in. Make sure the card slots are in line and that clips around there. And that's just nicely touching the board with that there then. Might be a little bit too good. No, that's fine. Flipped underneath there, that's pretty good. And then the back. That was underneath bit, four screws for the outer. Back part goes in and then clips on. Quite ingenious really, with these little tiny clips on here to just go around the plastic. No screws or nothing. It is very over-engineered with the screws, which is quite weird. So, I might actually change that LED while I'm here. Because technically, it's not going to be that colour. It is getting modded, so why not show it ha as being modded? I mean, that one is either a yellow or a whatever LED. There she is. So I might just change it for a blue one. Standard, everyday, blue, showing it's... Yeah, I can get that out anyway, I can get that easy. I don't have to get the plastics off of a do. I need to take these two screws out here. Yeah, I'm gonna do that now before I do any, go any further. I'm gonna change that for a blue. Everybody likes a bit of blue. And we'll get this, the top back on. I will clean the lens before, well, before we test with any, any disc or anything. I've only got the lights, I've only got one disc, but that's fine. I'll, um, if you're ever, if you, when you put in the bottom section onto the disk drive section. If you don't feel completely confident that your wiring is as flat to the board as you can, it's sticking up, just put something, a little piece of tape, a piece of paper maybe, just over the cable so they're not gonna touch and short out on the bottom part of this metal casing. If you're not that confident, I mean, mine were miles off, which was pretty good for me, to be honest. I mean, doing these videos must actually be, I must actually be getting a few things right. It's quite weird. I could do a change in the battery on this. I've got an 0112, so that's, yeah, that's nearly a 13 year old battery. So let me get that desoldered and a standard blue LED put in place, pointing upwards with three mil, and then we can put this, the lid back in place. And at least it'll show that I've done a modification. Somebody will look at this in the future and think, hmm, that's not supposed to be blue. And then they'll figure out that there are something, other things in here. Other than that, what I could do is put a label on the inside, put a label on the underside saying that it's been modded. A lot of people do that. I don't because these are part of my collection. These aren't going anywhere until something major happens. So, right. Sold the rise on, get that out, get this new one soldered in, and then we'll carry on. Okay, GameCube's back together. Now for the Swiss mod, I have a disc, which needs to go in here. You needed the Xeno mod inside for it to read copied discs. Now, this all being well, will read on there anyway. If it's a copy disc, it should work with what the settings I've done. If it doesn't, I'm gonna have to double back a lot. So, let me see if the um, LED mod worked. Start with, I've got my own power supply for this rigged it. Rigged up. Little red LED on there, the cable for the AV, and then we'll do the power. And a blue LED, lovely. You haven't really got to do too much with the blue LEDs, it's kind of obvious. Now it's saying select language on the screen, so I'm guessing I do need to change the battery on this. So that's unfortunate, but whatever. And you can hear it going in the background, that's fine. GameCube works. You must first set the calendar and the options right, so I need to do all the bits and bats on this just to set the time. <sighs> It might just be because I changed. Apparently, it thinks it's 2135. We're in the future. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Fine, B for finish. Confirm. Confirm. 
It, 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 just ask me then, are you sure it's 20? Yeah, well, we'll go for... It's the last date on its calendar. No, it isn't. It's just gone balmy. I'll put this year, 2020. I'm not bothered about the date. It doesn't really matter so much. Right, select. B finish. Ah, right. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's go for gameplay. No disc. So that is an open button. I'm not sure whether or not I need to do anything. Like um, the SD card I've got in here is a 64 gig. Whether or not I need to format that yet. Now hopefully this is gonna work with that in. So it's reading the disc. Hopefully we're changing the, the um, resistor. Ha 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 ha! Swiss for GC! Get in. Right, what I'm gonna do, because I need to put this in first, turn it off, flip around, it goes in the serial port two, hence why I haven't put this one back in. Serial port one and the high speed port are there. We don't use those. I've got nothing that will go in those anyway. So we get the card reader, which is as simple as this. It's just a, a standard card reader with a resistor and not much else. Now this obviously faces outside, which I guess it's that away. It doesn't feel that sick. Sorry about that. It goes that away. Right, so the, the card's on the inside to it and the face outside, yes. Just slightly, it doesn't feel like it's holding in place, but once that goes over the top of it, I think that should hold it. Because that is just under the level of that, so I think that might do it well. So I'm gonna put an SD card in now. I don't know what's on this. There shouldn't be much on there, and hopefully there's a setting for format. So that's in, that's on, that's done. And I'm really happy that actually worked. Right, power on. And the little blue LED. Clock is set. I don't know whether or not it's the da down to the power being off or me taking the, the controller port out originally. Right, I've got a Swiss volume 0 0.5. Don't know what I am doing. Right, this is actually showing the SD card. I've got music on here. Private DCIM. I must have had this rigged up to my camera. Oh, I know where I rigged it to. It was my old phone. So I've got music on here. And I hope that doesn't play, otherwise, it's going to be a, a cut in the video. SD card, right, so that's now actually frozen because I think it's reading the amount of data in there. It's not actually, it's not frozen. I'm showing a clock in the top right hand corner of the screen. Ah, yes, this was definitely in a phone. Right, so let me go through settings. I need to file type. That's not doing anything. Okay, sound settings. Swiss mode auto. SD card slot. So it's obviously reading from the SD card, which is brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. I want a format option for the card. I don't know how the GameCube system works. Discard and exit. Right. SD card 2. Can I have any options? It's showing support to file system FAT16, FAT32, XFAT, DVD shows that system backup IPL DSP DVDS RAM okay so I need to get on with doing a mod which I assume will go on to the SD card which is inside here now hmm fun 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 okay so let me have a play about with this for a bit and I'll get back to you and explain exactly what I've done on here Okay, sick and tired of waiting for that card to load. I think there was a fault with it, so I replaced it with a different card. So we'll get that back in. This is for testing anyway, so I'm not going to fill it up with billions of games anyway, so it's not a problem. Right, so she's in, that's in, power's on, and out of the way. Swiss in. 
Mm, could have done with the purple one, maybe. I don't know. Right, so Swiss is loaded up straight away. It's reading the SD card. Oh, what do I do with that? Go over and go to the DVD. Resetting DVD drive, detect media. Now go to the doll file, which is showing loading doll, which means absolutely nothing in a minute. As it should have been a purple one, shouldn't it? Because a controller. Right, that's not worked. I need it to boot directly from. DVD drive and go straight to the loader. Or you think. So I'll go to the loader. Which has got the cube with the gameplay options, calendar, and memory card. Let's go to gameplay. It's going with Swiss for GameCube. Right, it's saying press start. No, that's not worked either. That's gone to card A for no reason. Maybe it doesn't like having the card A in there. So I'll remove that. Let's start again. Resetting DVD drive, detect media. I feel it would have to do unknown file type. And that one, Swiss. Okay, resetting DVD drive to check media. Maybe there has to be a file on the card then. Hmm. I don't know what I'm doing there. I don't know what I'm doing. Eject. Let's try that. Now it's resetting DVD drive. Reset the system, go back into the where it twiddles around a bit and shows you the four options on each corner. So go back to gameplay. It's just it's showing Swiss for GC. Um, press start. So hopefully that's gone, so it shouldn't think about that. It's resetting DVD drive again. Okay, maybe it just boots straight from the CD. With having the mod on there, going straight to the CD, reading that, and I need to put a file on the SD card. So let me try that and see if it works. Right, we're all set up on the bench. GameCube ready to go. I've actually bought, in the meantime between takes on the video, a SD card, well, a memory card slot for the ST, SD as well, because I wasn't entirely sure whether or not the card that goes underneath was actually working. So we've got this as well. The biggest problem is I've been, I've been testing and everything does seem to be working fine. I think I got, the, the, the mod inside is working absolutely fine. I think I'd not formatted the card properly. So I've done it on, I think it's on a FAT32 or an XFAT if it's larger. But other than that, it didn't seem to work properly. But Let's go through, let's turn this on. Nice blue LED in the front. Trickles round, nice purple controller. So it's now red from, directly red, because so I've got the disc already on here with the, we look at it on there, with the Swiss already on. I've actually been trying to get files off this on the computer, but it didn't seem to want to work right, and I've actually scratched the disc, but I would, recommend just in case getting yourself some blank discs there are dis decent medias that people will recommend but there's barely any type of mini dvds out there so i bought a pack of four just in case that disc actually goes whether or not it's actually a way of doing putting this directly onto the sd card and load from the sd card instead of from the cd not entirely sure but i'm happy with it with this works so this is actually reading from the sd that's underneath on the card slot underneath there so that will play, that's not a problem. But due to copyright rules, and this going straight into a Star Wars theme, will straight away take the video off. So that's on one on there, the SD card slot on the front. I'm gonna go back, which gives us this triangle down here. SD card and SP2, which is on the bottom. SD card slot B. Loading, I have three games on there. Rogue Leader, yes. Star Fox Adventures. 
Never played. Never played any of these because I never had a GameCube. Let's try and see what comes up with this. If I want cheats, I can add on to it, change settings. Shows me what, what mode, video mode I can, I can play in. It's loading the doll. See, I want to actually try the Metroid as well because that's a Japanese copy. I mean, get your RAM, ROMs where you get them from. If you're not, copyright rules, yeah, if you've got to have the actual game, you can get the ROM, yeah, fine, I understand that completely. So, Star Fox seems to work fine. Loading, do not touch the memory card. So I've got a standard one in the left hand side anyway for saving the games. Got a start button in the middle. Empty slot with A. It's kind of all the controls on a, a GameCube for looking on my point of view. Because I've not actually had one of these in the past before anyway. So it is kind of awkward to get used to, but it's well I'm sure I'll get used to it. Play a game. I also had a problem with the battery, internal battery on this was actually dead. So I've replaced that. There is a separate video coming for that one. Or it might have already been released. I'm not sure which way I'm going to release this video and that. Only a quick one to actually replace the battery on that. It's very easy to do, surprisingly very easy to do. So that's pretty cool. Looks like he's talking, but there's no sound. So I'm guessing there are slight problems with the ROM compatibility, shall we say. So, no buttons will work. But there is obviously a game on here anyway. So that loads the UK sort of stuff, the European stuff. Nintendo, I think that actually just resets the game. Yeah, that's reset the game. So I don't power off and power back on again. I need to try that Metroid one. Silly thing. Now, will this boot directly? Yes. So I want to go back with B. SD card is slot B. I want to try Metroid. Because if it doesn't work as a full multi-region then the the mod will well it's not exactly what i wanted then now, a lot of japanese on there or a lot of problem with the file possibly i don't know it's a smaller one so ntsc this might not actually work on this television so let's see what happens with the ntsc hasn't worked well on other things before this television not saying that it won't work on yours but Looking good so far, apart from the black screen. Okay. Metroid Prime. That is looking perfectly normal to me. However, I can't understand Japanese, so I'm hoping that that is a yes. Yes. Sorry for anybody in Japan. I I don't I know a few languages, but I don't know Japanese. Okay. It's got the subtitles and in English. Was that part of the mod? If it was, then that's really helpful, except for the menus not being so helpful. should be lost in space and time but among the stars there is one light that burns brighter than all others oh. the light of samusarin vibrated through the controller then beyond her life and etch themselves into history here another chapter of that history Very good graphics. 
Like I said, this is standard everything put through. No mods to make it into a SCART or make it into a HDMI. It's not bad for what it is. I'd like to skip that, but I can't. So yeah, the mod works multi-regional. Excellent. So, let me get the camera back over there and we'll get this video finished because I'm really happy with what I've managed to accomplish here. So, brilliant. So there we have it. All done and dusted. Really, really happy with a little bit LED mod with the full mod inside for multi-regional getting the Swiss installed inside. Yeah, it's, it's well worth doing. I mean, whether or not you want to do it on the SD card or it's on the bottom anyway. It does actually work. That my socket does feel very quite loose in there, but it does seem to work. And I think that's the top bit of that does actually just hold it in place a little bit anyway. I was wondering whether or not if that doesn't fit properly, if I could put some solder along these and make this a little bit fatter, but it doesn't seem to need to want to do it, but, which is good. They're fat for too much anyway, so brilliant. Swiss mod, multi-region mod, done. It's easier than I thought. So that's a pretty good mod to do. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Been a little bit of a long video now, but please like and subscribe, follow me on social media, comment down below, say hello, and I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.